Working with audio in Final Cut 10 is pretty intuitive, but the touch bar brings a few extra tricks. The basics though are fairly straightforward, and that's what I'll show you in this video. I've got one clip selected, and if I bring up the audio controls here in the touch bar, you'll see I can control its volume. You'll also hear if I play this video, that the audio just jumps straight in. I can add fade handles, new feature in this version of Final Cut, so that it comes in much more gradually. And you can add a fade handle at the beginning or end or both. You can also choose to silence a clip. So this clip coming up, the audio is maybe not terribly useful. So if I select that, I can press silence. Now silence is a command that's actually in Final Cut. Look under Modify, Adjust Volume, it's right there. And I've actually assigned a custom shortcut, zero, which I used to use a lot when I didn't have a dedicated button on the touch bar. But if you don't have a touch bar yet, assign zero. And if you do, silence is the way to go. Once you've silenced, it's not a reset. You have to turn the volume back up if you want the audio back. The last relatively simple thing is that you can adjust multiple clips volumes at once, but you don't have a slider in this case. You have buttons to go up or down, and you can add fades to multiple clips at once as well. Now, all those basic audio things are pretty good, but it actually can get a bit more interesting. And I'll show you some advanced audio tricks in the next video.